Hey everyone, so today we're actually gonna run our regression, but let's let's go back to what, oh, what we were originally trying to accomplish. Again, remember we wanted to test the hypotheses that Apple has an average level of market risk, and that is specifically that it's required return, Apple's required return in excess of the risk rate, that is R minus RF, is the same as the market's required excess return, RM minus RF here. And we can state that formally like that, like so in this equation. And you'll notice that we have B1 here. What is, what is B1? Beta, that's the measure of the sensitivity of the required excess return of Apple to the excess return of the market. Okay. And so we're going to test that. And so we can specifically say we want to, we want to test our null hypothesis that B, B1 beta is equal to one. And our alternative hypothesis is that B is, is not equal to one. So let's see if we can actually test this in Python. So before we begin, we need to build out our model. And so there's three, three steps essentially in building out a model. First, what we need to do is we need to import stats model. So I'm going to say import stats models dot API as SM. So first we need to import that Python package. And once we have that, we need to describe our model. So first we need our dependent variable. That's why. And so again, remember our dependent variable is the Apple stock returns in excess of the risk free rate. So we can just take our data frame and that's going to be R minus RF. There we go. And now we need our independent variable X and that's just going to be equal to our data frame. Again, this column here, so let's say RM minus RF. And finally, we need to add a constant that's beta not, be not. And so to do that, we can take SM dot add constant x and we can equate that to x like so and there we go and so now we have all these variables now we need to describe our model so to do that we can take we can say sm dot ols for ordinary least squares and this function this class takes in several arguments it takes in our dependent variable y our independent variable x. And finally, we need to specify one last thing. We have to say missing equals drop. And the reason why we're doing that is we have some not a number values here. We could we could have removed this from our data frame, but stats models allow us allows us to easily remove this automatically. So we can do that like that. And finally, we can just say this is equal to model. So now we have described our model, like so. And now we need to fit our model. So to do that, we're going to say model.fit. And we can output this into some results. And our final step is we can summarize this. We can start interpreting it. So we can say results.summary. And there we go. So you notice we have our coefficient, we have our constant, we have our B1 coefficient, we have our standard error, we have a T statistic, which is very large. We also have our coefficient of determination, R squared here, and we have our p-value. So we're going to go over all of these different statistics in our next videos, and we're going to eventually see if we can test this hypothesis. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Till next time, thank you.